In the last video, we created a very, very simple network database that we could use to start testing our way around in a uh, well, a network analysis. So the the main theme is to create a very simple network where we got the roads to which students could cycle and and walk. It's a relatively safe area, so we don't need to care too much about cars and 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 things like that. We can assume that they are going on the on the areas designated for pedestrians. So we created the transport system and the easy way of doing is of course that we just drag and drop the uh, the school feature data set that we've got here. Simply to drag it and drop it in and we will have three different files. We will have all the edges, will all the junctions, which mean, simply means that wherever the road meets another road and handshakes, it's going to be a junction, and the roads themselves, so three different kinds of things, the roads, the networks, and the junctions. In this case, we don't need to see everything, so I'm going to blank out things like roads and the junctions, so it becomes clear, also graphically very sort of easy to detect things and see what they are. We're going to test a few things and what we're going to do right now is to try to see whether we can allocate schools or kids to schools basically. And I've prepared two uh, point shape files. One is called kids, which of course holds a few kids, and another one called schools, and that one holds schools. And to make it obvious which one is which, I'm going to make the schools a little bit green and I think the purple ones kind of catered themselves. I know there might be someone on top of each other, so I'm going to drop them a little bit like that. So these are the roads, the pupils, or the kids, or the schools, and the schools. So in order to make this work, we need to figure out first what kind of analysis we want to do. It is not a new route that we could do by just simply clicking on one location and another. It's more complex than that. It is not a service area, because we are not looking for the entire area that any school needs to provide. And it's not a cost matrix, because we are no, not looking for the cost to any location I and J, and it's not a vehicle routing problem or new location allocation. It is the new closest uh, facility. So we need to assign this, the, uh, each kit to a school. So this is what I'm going to choose. I'm going for the closest facility. And the very simple thing we could do here is to look for the options. This is not network analysis. This part is not always sort of opened. So sometimes you have to click here to actually activate it. And that where we started it, and here is where we have all the tools and, and, and opportunities. We could choose whatever sort of network file we want. But literally, the first step we want to do is to associate the schools to facilities and the incidents as we call students nowadays, uh, as such. So I'm going to drag and drop the facilities there. And here we have a few different kinds of options where we look for the search tolerance to associate points to network. And 5,000 meters seems a very good match indeed. So I'm going to accept that. And I'm going to drag and drop the kids to the incidents. And I get the same similar kinds of questions. And I accept that. So we've got 18 kids and three facilities. Now, in the next step, we need to set up and see what kinds of opportunities we've got. And we can click here, close facility properties. We're not going to do many sort of alternatives, but nevertheless, we could. We got the general tab showing us sort of what we can give for names and stuff, as in anyone. The layers part of it, no surprise, and the source of the layers. And the analysis settings, in this case, where we did the very simple network, we did not create any costs. We only accept the meters as it is. And we've got no U-turns and we've got no other kinds of things. So it's very simple to make use of it. We don't need accumulation of length in this case, because that's the only one we're not. And there's no sort of settings we need to do. We just accept the layer properties. Now, what are we going to do? Well. If we press solve here, they are going to look for the closest road between any pupil and any school, and it's going to be suggested. And I go here to the solve button, and I press it, and it thinks for a little while, and it's in fact done. 
how you've got a few of the alternatives already there. So if we zoom in here, for the, for instance, on this occasion, we can see that the school, by making the, the background school a little bit bigger, we could see which ones they are. That's the school, and here's the students. By looking for the closest road, we can assign that student to that school, and that student, and that student, and that student. In this case, we do not care about any number restrictions, so we simply make use of the complete and total distance that any student that has got that as his closest school can make use of it. Well, this is the very, very simple part of the analysis, I must say. And if we want to save this for later, we can right-click on Routes here and use... You can't see it, I'm afraid, so I have to have to see if I can do anything like this. Routes and Data and Export Data. And if I've got that, I could save the material. Let me see. Network. And I can call that... Roads the kids choose or should choose, but let's assume they choose the one we have selected for them. And I press select, select, uh, OK, and OK, and the 18 routes have been sort of created, and there we have them. So these roads, whatever we want to do with them in terms of size, could be expressed. And we also got an opportunity to find them individually and see what kinds of distance and other kinds of qualities they've got. So total length, for instance, how far was the distance from any location I to J? These are things that could be incorporated and used in any kind of further analysis when we assign the students to the schools. Thank you very much, and that was the second part of the analysis.